From Pharaoh to Haman, from Hitler to Hamas, why have people always sought to destroy the Jewish people? The answer is clear, it is because Israel is God's chosen and covenanted nation, and the devil hates God's chosen, and will always try repeatedly and relentlessly to eliminate those who are chosen by God. Israel despite her many faults is still the chosen nation of God, as we see in the book of Isaiah 44, 21 where God tells Israel that they shall not be forgotten. And so we know that God's love for Israel is eternal. Yes, some Jews may exhibit lifestyle of cunningness and craftiness just like their father Jacob, but yet still in Jacob's error, it was him that God chose and not Esau. And in the same manner that God dealt with Jacob, God is going to corner Israel one of these days and change her. That's thus saith the Lord. The battle of Gog and Magog as seen in the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 is describing a battle that will occur in the future where communist Russia will lead a coalition of army and come against Israel. Notice here that Gog is a prince, and he is a prince of the land of Magog, and so Gog is a ruler of Meshech and Tubal. Cross-reference Bible identifies these two cities as Moscow and Tubolsk, which is in modern-day Russia. A leader in Russia will rise and lead Russia to war with the nation of Israel, and he will not only do this with the armies of Russia alone, but he will form a coalition with other nations against Israel. Although it is far-fetched to see this happening in our time, but Russia will revert back to communism, and a communist leader will direct his threat against Israel. But God is going to take glory against them, the armies of the enemy will be destroyed. According to this prophecy, it will be a great shame because Israel will miraculously gain victory against Russia and its allied forces. In conclusion, although this might seem strange, but it is important to find out that biblical prophecies never fails. It has to come to pass, God is going to draw communist Russia and her allies towards Israel and take glory over them, just like he drew Pharaoh against Israel and buried Pharaoh in the Red Sea. God makes no mistake in his love for the Jews and he will terminate anybody, group or nation that rises against Israel. If you enjoyed this video, please comment and let us know if we should delve further into Gog and Magog as represented in Revelation 27. 10. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. God bless you.